Hello everyone, this is Diane. This is not a junk journal related video, but I am um, organizing my Bible study materials and prayer notebook and things like that. And I'm setting up a, a portable um, Bible study or devotional tote, I guess. Um, so I'll keep it here in my office and I can just pick it up and carry it out to the living room. Uh, so I just thought I would turn it on because uh, I thought maybe you'd be interested in uh, what I'm doing here. But look at this. I have way more Bibles than than anybody needs. But what you need, the main thing that you need for a daily devotional time with God is a Bible. This is how God speaks to us. We can talk to him through prayer. He talks to us through his word. And also... Through the promptings of the Holy Spirit, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Savior, you are indwelt with the Holy Spirit, and He guides you and prompts you and directs you if you're open to listening. But this, these are the words of God. So why do I have so many Bibles? They do different things. Um, I mean, the Scriptures are the Scriptures, and they are the living Word of God. But some of them have additional things added to them, not to the Scriptures, but study notes and maps and things like that. So this one is just a plain, it's a New King James, which is what I normally read. And there's nothing fancy about it. There are no study notes. It's a big enough print that I can easily read it. And it's a small enough Bible that this is what I carry to church because it's just easy to carry. It's not as heavy as some of these. So that's my church Bible. Then I have some other Bibles for other things. For example, this one, which is also New King James, it says Study Bible, and it's the Holman um, Study Bible. It's not the Holman translation. There is a Holman translation, which is good, and I had one, but I gave it to my daughter because I thought I had two of them because this said Holman. I forgot that this is New King James. But anyway, um, it comes in a pretty purple, and it's the Holman Study Bible, and a study Bible has notes. So you have your scripture, and then down here you can um, look up whatever verse, like you have might have a question, well, what does that mean? And you can look down here to see if there are notes on those verses. <clears throat> and then, of course, there are other aspects to study Bibles. There are maps, and see, there's a map. And there are usually things in the backs. There's usually a, a small concordance anyway. And the concordance is if you can't remember the verse, or the, where to find the verse in the Bible, but you know a keyword, you can look up the keyword and then you can maybe find the verse you're looking for, what chapter and book it's in. So that is New King James Study Bible. And I have this one. I love this one. Uh, Elizabeth George is a women's, a Christian women's author. And there's also an Elizabeth George mystery writer. Don't confuse the two. But uh, this is her Bible that she put together for women. A Woman After God's Own Heart Bible. This is the name of, of her most popular book, A Woman After God's Own Heart. So then she wrote, she wrote, uh, she put devotionals in here for us. And this is also New King James Oh, it's coming apart there. I have let my sister, I went through it for a year, and then I let my sister have it for a year, and then I, I bought one for my mother, so she has her own. But this is really nice. I bought this in 2018 at the end. So I went through it in 2019, must be. So it has, um, a Read the Bible Through the Year program. So this is day two. I must have missed day one. But this is day two, and it tells you what chapters to read, and, and it has a devotional written by Elizabeth. And then it'll tell you what the where the next devotional is. This is Genesis 4 through 7, so then for the next day you would start with Genesis chapter 8. And in addition to the devotionals, there are additional notes. And she talks about the women in the Bible, women that you might not be familiar with, like Zillah and... Ada, and these are women that are mentioned briefly 
but she talks about them and because God put put, that, put them in the Bible for a reason. So it's really good. I think I'm going to go through this one again um, starting in January. Um, then I have two that are in Bible covers. The Bible covers are nice, but um, they're, they make the Bible more heavy. But uh, So I, I bought the Bible covers so that I could carry them to church without damaging them, but it makes them heavy. This one is my oldest one. My husband and I bought Bibles, the same Bible, uh, when we were, I don't know how long, I don't know how long I've had it, but we've had, we had these for a long time, and I believe my son now has my husband's Bible, or else my grandson does, but it's the Nelson Study Bible, Nelson's Complete Study System, and it's New King James, again, and the only reason it's Nelson is because uh, it was put out by the Nelson Nelson Bibles Publishers. And again, it has Bible study notes. Lots of notes. So it really helps. Um, it gives you cross-references. Um, and they talk about the book of the Bible before you read the book. It has a lot of information about that particular book. So study Bibles are great. If you uh, want to learn the Bible, I would recommend getting you a nice study Bible. Well, I will zip that up later. And I have another one that is in... I, I do have an ESV Bible. Is this it? Nope, New King James, and this is also from Nelson. Oh, this one is ESV. So this one is just another... It's not a study Bible, it's the Abide Bible. And I thought this was nice for devotional time instead of like in-depth studying. Um, you read the scripture passage and then it gives you some prompts for praying about that passage and reflecting and writing. So I've, I've used it some, but not as much as I should have. I believe this is my most re recent, which I've had for a while, but... It's just something I want to do more of for devotional time where I'm actually praying instead of studying. Praying and reading and trying to communicate with God. So it's hard for me to remember what Bibles are inside my covers. So now I know that one with my with a really wonderful verse from Psalm. That one has my Abide Bible, which is appropriate. Be still and know that I am God which is another way to abide in him. And then this one, I don't carry it around places because the hardcover books tend to um, come apart. So, you know, the heavy books, if you lug them around. This is just for home, and I really haven't done much with it, but it's English Standard Version, um, Inductive Study Bible. And inductive, briefly, just means that you... Um, I had a page of notes here. You could do things like it does I think it gives instructions in the front or suggestions. You can make little symbols to represent certain words. So uh, if you're reading a passage and it has a lot to do with um, a certain topic like light, you can put symbols or use different colors to uh, highlight that word. And that way, you know when you look at it, well, this is light right here. So all of the yellow spots is talking about light a lot. Jesus is the light of the world. <clears throat> and then you can use the colors and you can use little symbols to represent different words or ideas. And you can underline and circle, underline twice. So everything means something different. But it's a little complicated and time-consuming, so I haven't really gotten into that. But that's what I bought this for, so I better get into it. So now, to set up my uh, tote, this is what I'm using. I bought this a while ago, years ago, a couple years ago at least. Probably, I don't know, four, four or five years ago. And it's from um, Hobby Lobby. It's the paper studio, so this is in the craft uh, organization supplies department if they still have them I don't know if they still have them and they're not cheap but I got it on sale 
So this is what I'm using. I used to use this for this same thing, but I was trying something else. It's not working. So I'm going to go back to this. So what do I want to put in here? I want to put a Bible in here, just one, and uh, a notebook. Well, we'll talk about the things that I put in here as I put them in. So I need to choose a Bible that I want to put in here. And I think I'm going to I'm going to go with the Abide Bible and I'm going to take it out of the cover because it'll make my tote not so heavy and this easier to get into and read and it's it's just a really beautiful cover. So that fits right in there even though that's a big Bible. It fits in there. Now I also want my prayer notebook in here. So I have this small notebook. It's my partner prayer notebook um, by Becky Tirabasi. This was recommended to me by a lady from my church and there's a book that she wrote about prayer that was excellent. And so I paid extra for this. It comes with special dividers and papers, but you can just use a small binder or just a, or a spiral bound notebook. I recommend a binder because you can take pages in and put new pages out. Put new pages in and take pages out as you need to update. So this is just a spare that I have, which I used to use before I got this. I might have to go back to that though because I see this is coming apart and I, I paid money for this. But let me just talk a little bit about the prayer notebook. It's divided up into sections and the first one is praise. So I can write my, my um, praise to, to God if I want to. It takes more time to write your prayers out, but it's nice to go back and read them sometimes. So I won't be writing my prayers every day. Maybe I'll just write a small section of my prayers. Um, maybe write the praise one day and the confession another day and whatever, the thanks another day. But that's what this is for. And these are the special pages that came with this book. But again, regular, just a regular binder or notebook with regular pages will suffice. And then the admit is um, confession. And I can, I can write scripture on any of these that kind of go along with that, like search me and know me. I think I had that written down here. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive or wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. That's a prayer that you can pray for God to allow you to see the areas of your life that you have been um, sinning or not being obedient and you can confess them to God and ask him to help you. And then the requests. This is always the hard part for me to set up, but I'm trying this. I have uh, a page here. I pray for myself every day because I know what I need. I know my needs. I know I need to pray for um, about my insomnia or whatever it is that is my issue at that time. So I pray, I pray for myself. And if my husband was still living, he would be on this um, number one prayer category. I would pray for us together. I would pray for us separately. Um, and then I have my son and his family. So that includes his wife and his daughters. And then I have my parents. And then the next day, I have me again, because I'll pray for my needs every day. And I have my daughter and her family. And that includes her boys, her husband. And my brother, my oldest brother and his family. So I'm doing myself, my children and grandchildren, and a member of my growing up family, <laughs> my parents and my siblings. So again, uh, me and my granddaughter, my oldest granddaughter is, um, she doesn't live with my son and she lives with her mother and she is about to turn 20 in a few months. So she's an adult, so I give her her own category. I need to pray for her and I check with her. I don't see her a lot, but I check with her on prayer requests. What do you need me to pray for? And then my other brother. And then I go back to me and my son again. So I just rotate between my son, my daughter, and my granddaughter. 
my son, my daughter, and my granddaughter. So they're being prayed for at least twice a week. And of course, if there's an urgent need or something specific and special, I'll pray for them more than once. I don't need to just stick to this. And then my sister. And then I have my daughter and my other sister. And my granddaughter again. And then I can start all over. So to remind me of where I am in this, because I forget things all the time, I have this bookmark. I can make a new bookmark. This was given to me at a conference where I learned about this technique. Um, I can just slip this to where I need to turn for that day. So after these, I can turn to the next bookmark, which is, are some special people that I pray for. The young ladies that I kind of mentor from my church, um, a couple special friends from my church, um, and the church. I am leaving. I have left. The church that I grew up in and I haven't I don't know what church I'm going to I have an idea but I'm waiting for my son he's finishing things up at our church and he'll, he'll he's almost done so he'll be leaving there too and then we're all going to go to he's he's preaching he's a he's the pastor of this church right now but um, we are leaving and he'll be preaching at another church for a month and then we're just going to go to a church and be um, in the congregation for a while. So anyway, um, I can still pray for the church that I'm leaving because I still love those people and they still need prayer, which is why we're leaving. And every church needs prayer, whether they're healthy or not. Uh, and then this category is thanks. So I can write out things I'm thankful, even if I just want to make a list and pray about each item as I write it. Or I can write it write it out if I want to. So that is the pr the thanks section. We must not come to God always asking requests. We need to praise. We need to confess. And we can ask. He wants us to ask. And we need to give thanks also. And we also need to listen. So we have our scripture. So what I would do is I pray before I read my scripture and ask God to um, help me to pay attention, help me to focus and not let my mind wander, and to give me understanding on the passage and to see how it should change my life because God's Word should change our lives. And then I can pray, and then I can just be quiet and listen. That scripture verse I just showed you on my Bible cover says, Be still and know that I am God. We need to sit still and be quiet, which is very, very, very difficult for me and for both people. But we need to sit and listen and, and just be with God. And then we might, he might impress something on us. And that is the listening part. And that's where the Holy Spirit comes in. So I have some notes here from a previous time that I had written during that uh, listening time. I wrote down things that I thought that God was uh, wanting me to take away from that particular session. So it sounds complicated, but it's not. Um, pray before you read the Bible, then read the Bible, and then a longer prayer where you do these categories. And then, so that's going in here. And then if I have time, I've got some devotional books. I keep one by my bed. So when I before I turn the light off at night, um, sometimes I'll open it up and read a little devotional. It has a scripture and a little devotional, and uh, this one is prayers for women. But I have a bunch of them. Um, so I keep one by my bed, but I also keep one with this, so that I can, if I have time that day, I can read a little bit about uh, the Bible, or about a particular verse. This one happens to be about um, Psalms chapters 1 through 50. So I started studying this, um, so I'm going to keep this with my books here. So when I have time, I will read some more about these. So I think there's a chapter for every um, chapter of the, the first third of the Psalms. There are 150 Psalms. I have book two. I got these two books at a used books, bookstore. But the third book is out of print. <laughs> but it'll take me a while to get through those first. And 
This book is narrow enough to fit in here. So I'll put that in here. I want a notebook, something that I can keep notes in, uh, maybe one to keep, like this one. I might write notes in here to keep. And that doesn't fit in there, so I'm going to put it here. But I have this one, which I think I could just tear the pages out of here, and I'll just put that in here. So that would be just... Sometimes I feel distracted by what I need to do that day, and so it would help me to stop and write down, this is what I need to do, and then set it aside and get that. It's like a brain dump. Get it out of my head. Or I could put one of my little handmade journals in there. To, I would probably probably want to write things that I want to keep and not throw that, that away or tear the pages out. So I'm just going to put that in there for now. Um, and I have other uh, devotionals, but... You know, I can't fill this up with too much. It would just be too distracting. So I will, will finish one and then take it out and put another one in. But I have all these pockets to use, too. So I want to have some bookmarks. So I've got some bookmarks here. And I can put them in one of these pockets. And I like to write... Oh, I put some hand cream in here. Because sometimes I want that. And I'll put a little packet of tissues in here. I do have a box of tissues next to my seat on the couch, but I'll put a little packet in here just in case I carry this outside or something. Sometimes if I'm reading a Bible or a book that has small print, I might want my... I had some Bibles that were small print that I couldn't read very well, but I just keep that in there. And of course, if you have a notebook, you're going to want something to write with. I have some pencils and some pencils. I mean pens. There are... Um, let's see, I'll put that over here. There are pens that don't show through, that don't bleed through a thin Bible page. Um, so I should get some of those so I can underline or write a little note. But these I can write in my notebooks with. I have some chapstick. I'll put that with my hand cream just so I don't get distracted by things and I love to write scripture down and I've got some scriptures written down here and sometimes I'll just carry it around with me for a while while I meditate on it go for a walk with some scripture cards in my hand there's a little inner pocket right in here I'll tuck them in there and we have this uh, membership directory for my church and it has uh, photographs and uh, information about all the members of the church, which is a very handy thing to have with your prayer notebook for uh, praying for all of the people in the congregation. Not, ev not every one every day, but dividing them up like I did with my family members. So even though I'm not going to be a member there anymore, I can still continue to pray for them, and maybe when I find a new church, I'll have a new church directory to put in there. Um, I have this book. I'm going to reread it. It's Spiritual Journaling, Recording Your Journey Toward God, and it's Spiritual Formation Study Guide by Richard Peace, P-E-A-C-E, -E. and I got this a long time ago. And I know I read it. 2004, I got it. But I want to read it again and see if it will help me to um, journal my spiritual journey. So that's what I have in there today. I have little pouches here that I could put... Oh, there's an eraser in there. I could put other little things in here if I need to. And, yep, there's a zipper pouch on the back. I think I'll... I'll put the pencils in there. I don't use the pencils that much, but for my my prayer notebook, I write and erase, so I might want that. What's this for? Ah, there's a little extra pouch there, so I've got lots of space for stuff. But I don't want to make my prayer tote, my, my Bible study tote, too complicated. I want to keep it simple, and so I don't feel overwhelmed by it. I want to have a nice... Uh, f time of fellowship with God in the morning without making it complicated because I can tend to do that. So I hope you found this informative and um, let me know about your Bible studies and
prayer notebooks and if you do things like that or if if you learn some new ideas from me that you want to try which I probably learned from other people so that's that's it I have this all set up for me to start tomorrow morning and I'm excited about it which is a good thing we should be excited about studying our Bible thanks all for watching and I'll see you the next time bye bye